Hello, welcome back to my blog Edis English Literature. I am Ardhen Dude. Today we are going to read a comparative study on Shaw and Shakespeare. We will try to find out the dramatic differences that these two great artists from two different ages has employed and we will also find out how close they are in dramatizing the concept of different ideas and ideologies. So this short discussion will be a fruitful one, will be a binding one in understanding both the dramatists. George Bernard Shaw and William Shakespeare are the two greatest dramatists of England. They lived in different ages and worked under different conditions of time and circumstances. Their mental attitudes and dramatic methods are too differently moduled. So there can be no comparison between them just as there can be no such comparisons between a modern battleship and an Elizabethan man of war. But in spite of all their differences, they resemble each other in one important respect that both of them have made valuable contributions to the development of English drama by using the heterogeneous dramatic materials of their respective ages and wielding them into a harmonious whole by the very wizardry of their dramatic genius. Regarding the points of similarity between Shaw and Shakespeare, Mr. A. Nicole, a valuable observation has made in his book, uh, A History of Late 19th Century Drama. He states, to compare Shakespeare and Shaw, may be a trifle foolish. He further says that to understand this kind of differences is purely academic. But in a proportion, in a balanced way and in a some critical observation, uh, he has said that this kind of understanding will make a valuable understanding of the concept of literature as a whole. The world literature is no denied to the fact that understanding Shakespeare and understanding George Bernard Shaw is a great artistic boost or great literary boost for any of the readers. Now Shakespeare was born in 1564 and came to the theatre in the early 90s of the 16th century. Shaw was born in 1856 and his first plays produced in 1892. When Shakespeare joined a company of London players, he found a, a drama which is yet had not realized its own destiny. Lily, the University Wits, of course, Lily had provided a new model in mythological fantastic comedy. There are some experimental translations from Italian comedy art as well as a strange romantic style also being exploited by Green and a peculiar kind of revenge drama of the kid attracted the mass of the Elizabethan mass. Marlowe uh, was the in-depth tragedian who has deployed the full power of blank parts, you know. His Taimul and the great Dr. Foster is suicide. So Shakespeare's virtue was that that he has that outstanding genius. He sees the opportunities from Lily, Green, Kidd or Marlowe and materialize those ideas in a valuable resources, harmonized them and uh, made a Marlowean parts or a high tragic concepts of Kidd and that subtlety of the Spanish tragedy that it displays or the kind of Italian wit that has been reflected in Lily's over delicate grace and Green's romantic robustness. Everything has been coined and materialized in new lights by William Shakespeare and that's why he is a genius. Now Saul's position is by no means dissimilar. From Jones, Pinero, he learned music and still more did he learn from Ibsen. 
the world he had for some degree a skill to cube epigrammatic devices he borrowed from damascus the not only the very names but also the skills of them but so many of the writers are now forgotten but the excitement and all that novel quality that saw has imbibed has that startling feeling experience in saw's writing we often forget that when he was a young man of 20 or 30 he frequented the theaters and eagerly watched performances of the good plays from earliest melodrama to jones the silver king from lytton's money to robertson so the comedies and the byron's latest success all all he uh, imbibed through his through his inclusive natures Uh, so saw's dramas so far from being new are a tussle of reminiscences of earlier works just as shakespeare's plays are broadly based upon the foundation laid by his predecessors particularly university wits so one of the most surprising thing about drama is that greatness does not really spring from complete originality you know the thief of all thieves you know as david garrick says uh, is the very dramatic genius he mentions so you have to be borrow the concepts you have to make a new device of displaying your skills that's your artistic caliber and in that way both shakespeare and so master that and that's why they are genius we are much confounded that the making of a man making of a genius is in the same root but in some way in some looks they are also contrasting now uh, the two great playwrights who are belonging from two different ages cannot be compared to and shakespeare was solely concerned with the portrayal of human beings and the expressions of the human soul in poetry but saw was mainly concerned with the ideas and philosophy with making people think and give them a faith so there is a difference it is the difference between a pure artist and a prophet but saw too was in an artist and many characters in his plays were admirably presented what observation could do his observation did he saw people with exceptional uh, sweetness and could exhibit their characteristics vividly but he has not shakespeare's mediumistic power of feelings and living his creations and a great deal of saw's own kindliness and common sense is given to some of his characters where it is utterly out of place so shakespeare has made his character lively by the very poetic imaginations artistic outburst of emotional caliber but saw mastered the placement of ideas in character so he paid no attention about character building about plotting but he all he he put forth the ideas and those ideas are so genuine that he makes a master out of it there are several critics who has observed so many of the points now so also believes the purpose of the art there is no need to while with him for it but it may be observed that he is trying to do one thing and the shakespeare another now shakespeare presents as rich an image of life as he can and communicates no more with the image uh, than his own intense abundant appreciations of life so demands and attempts to supply a coordination of essential facts of life into a system but the intellectual effort required for this is a comparatively clumsy instrument which misses much what is 
in real life presented or rules out most of the fog but uh, electric institutions of the poet it may be observed that all wills that ends well with more confused and perplexing is a subtle deeper richer work than man and superman so it is more important uh, to define Shaw and Shakespeare and distinguish them too in argumentative favor who is not superior who is superior is not the fundamental argument that I am here delivering but what I say that you need a good judgment of mankind while understanding both the characters and display by Shaw and Shakespeare because both these two great artists had the sole motivation of presenting the thought but Shakespeare presented it to artistic whereas Shaw presented it through master of ideas Shaw's ins insistence on explaining something or other to his audience naturally determines the character of all his dramatic work his characters must not be perfect themselves. They must never forget that they are put on the stage to expound some theory which has been born in their creator's mind or else uh, to be convinced of that theory. It has been said uh, of Shakespeare's characters that he seems to us to have as vivid and real an existence outside his play as in it of the stage as on. The same cannot be said without reservation of source people. For the most part, they appear before us ready-made and we know no more of them than they tell us themselves. It is all because source characters they represent the ideas through concept, whereas Shakespeare's characters they represent the man through emotions. So I think this initial lecture, a comparative study on Shaw and Shakespeare will invest much time for your further reading. If there is any questions, just ask me here. I will try my best to give some explanations. Like, share, comment and obviously subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.